Ah, a blind man selling matches. Hello? Hello, you mutt. Can I interest you in some of the greatest matches the world has ever seen? Um, I'm a little low on cash at the moment. Well, that's just fine, son. I don't accept cash anyhow. I only deal in collectibles. Uh, like what? Stamps? Paperweights? Coins? No, obviously not coins. Uh... You seem to be an intelligent gent. Go find me a nice novel I can immerse myself in. Books you want? But you're, uh, uh, how can I put this tactfully? You're as blind as an egg. First impressions aren't always what they seem to be, my good friend. In fact, sometimes they're the total opposite of what they appear. So what you're trying to say is that you can see. Well, you're as fast as lightning, aren't you? I can see all right, but I can't see colors. Red, ha, blue, means the total sum of zero to me. I see the world in arty party black and white. Nice dog. Is he a pedigree? He certainly is, friend. He's most definitely all dog. Name's Deepa. Deepa? Yeah, Deepa dog. Only time he'll bark is when he hears other dogs. He does it loud, though, because of that bull horn I got slung under his belly. Guaranteed to scare the waste products out of anybody. Really? Is it that loud? I'd love to hear him. I'd show you, but there aren't any other hounds around. He needs other dogs to get his mean streak going. Is it a mean streak a mile wide? Wider, wider, wider. This here dog's got me banned from more places than I've forgotten about. Here's one bark and shazam! He transforms into a maniac mongrel. He wants me to stick clean through. What kind of novel do you want? Well, that would be telly. I like prose, rich, flowing prose, English stuff. Stuff with brocade and crinoline in it. Uh, stuff like Shakespeare, perhaps? Can't say I've heard of the boy, son. Is he one of those new wave authors? One of those guys who don't know how to write proper? Uh, not exactly. Bye now. Goodbye, young man. Is this book to your taste? Well, bless my soul. I'll have this one and no mistake. There's just a small question of the matches. Oh, sorry. Here, reckon I'd forget my own name if I hadn't already. Yeah, right. Thanks for the matches. <laughs> what a sorry looking thing. It just doesn't want to open. I won't bother, thanks. That's a rough area of town to go wandering around in. You always find these lying around. Who's supposed to gather them up? I guess I'm not supposed to go behind here. There's not much business for hair stylists, since food has an automatic hair trimmer ingredient in it. It's locked. I bet the kids are sad that their favorite toy store is dead. Eh, so am I, come to think of it. I could do with a new pair of boots. Trouble is, it's closed. This is a big sculpture. It must be the one I've got to paint. It would definitely benefit from a lick of yellow. It's one of those ambassadors of mirth, a norm trooper. Excuse me, Mr. Norm, sir. Go away, citizen. I'm not supposed to fraternize with the public. I'm here to protect you all. What? Just you on your own? Never underestimate the abilities of a norm. Hmm, I won't. I think they lead deeper into the mall. They're locked from the other side. At least these doors are open.
Well, I wouldn't exactly say that this is the best music selection I've ever seen. Hmm, a CD of a one-man clap band. Great. These are on special offer. I thought phones were outlawed by Paul Nistelux. A record of every track by every group in the city. What a nice piece of solid state. I thought these were illegal and banned by Paul Nistelux. Cool! I love the real axe guitar! Awarded to Brian Deluge for best-selling CDs. Must be a black market chart system. Hiya, I'm Kent. I don't know any Kent. Sure you do. Heather told me. Yeah, what did she tell you, man? Oh yeah, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Sure thing. Sounds about right. I'm Brian. What do you want to know, man? Why doesn't your stereo work, Bri? There aren't any speakers. Boss took them to stop me airing my stuff. What can you tell me about your subversive group, Bri? Nothing you need to know right now, Nosy Parker, so just shut up and keep quiet, Ken. You'll know more when you earn the right to know more, know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I thought you were a great rock megastar. Why are you working in a dump like this? Uh, sorry, no offense. None taken. This is a cover, Ken, so the norms don't suspect me. I also use it to ship underground music to the people. Like your stuff? I'd like to hear some. Later, man. Just do your job now. See you later, Bri. It's Brian to you, Kenty. All right. Ciao. That fish looks paranoid. I used to read Dazzle all the time. Great articles, candid pictures, it's locked. This is sea munchies. Things from the ocean. Lovely cod. Lovely fish. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> it's iced shut. Hey, what's up, my lardy pal? Uh, uh. I hate this place. I'd rather be anywhere else in the whole big wide world than right here, right now. Why don't you take a break? I can't. I'll get fired. I hate my job. Why don't you try for a job elsewhere? You should have no trouble in today's thriving labor market. Can't do nothing properly. I'm just a walking waste of water. Why, I can't even do this simple job right. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Calm down. Why don't you try for a job elsewhere? You should have no trouble in today's thriving labor market. Can't do nothing properly. I'm just a walking waste of water. Why, I can't even do this simple job right. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Calm down. Hey, excuse me. Why don't you switch the lights back on? I'll put them back on if you leave me alone. How can I help you? Oh, go away, will ya? I ain't happy. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Calm down. 
Well, it seems to me that... Leave me be, will ya? <laughs> Stop picking on me! <laughs> Part of the PA system. I can't reach them. I need to get them down first. Titanium tip for a longer life. I don't have anything to use it with. I can just reach it. The elevator to the ground floor. I'd rather walk. This is really cool, like real scary. I wonder if it's a magic carpet. That thing's scary! Long-handed shears. Possibly the worst musical instrument ever invented. It's Rugged Ron from the TV series. A cheap imitation made from fiberglass. Cheesy rubber hand puppet. They're either meant to be rats or little horses. It's quite hard to tell. The craftsmanship is a little, uh, ambiguous. Hello, miss. Do you enjoy working in here? <laughs> you do stuff like that and it'll stunt your growth. Uncle Jeb was only 32 centimeters tall at the age of 30. Are you listening to me? This here's the tollway zone. Pack up your bait box and hightail it. You're as mad as a marble. You're no hope whatsoever. Goodbye. These boots are made for walking. Indeed. One of those pesky shoplifting deterrent gizmos. Hey, get away from there, citizen. Our glorious leader did not design this beautiful sculpture to be used as a climbing frame. I will not stand around and watch you defile it with your cheap footwear. I just wanted to get closer to become one with this uh, remarkable piece. Get away from that. Cheers. Why don't you go for a walk? I'll make sure nothing bad befalls the mall. I like you. Try. Ambition, responsible, but to be a norm requires merciless training for years just to handle the stress I take each minute. I can't jeopardize a citizen's safety by putting a dangerous situation that only I can handle. Are you sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. Don't distract me again, citizen. What exactly would you deem a dangerous situation, O oh server and protector? What might make you leave your post? Let me have a think. Wild animals. Definitely wild rabbit animals. And if, uh, if I was sick, you know, if I had the sniffles or such. Neither of those are very likely to happen in this warm, homogenized shopping environment, though, are they? No, I uh, suppose not. I'll be off then. And I shall protect good citizens such as yourself. It doesn't look like the elevator's working here. 